How's it going everybody? Junior from buymeaniphone.com and today we have the review of the Hi-Fi Man HE400 Audiophile headphones. These headphones retail for $400 on Hi-Fi Man's website and were sent to me free for review by Hi-Fi Man. Really, really appreciated for them for doing so. So these headphones are the big brothers to the Hi-Fi Man HE300 which I reviewed a couple months back. You can check out the link to that review in the description below and these are kind of a step up uh, and they are a pair of really nice headphones guys and we're going to go over the sound quality the build quality the comfort and my overall thoughts on the headphones themselves so the headphones come in this uh, cardboard box packaging that i'm not going to put back but they also come with this carrying pouch right here uh it's not going to do very much not a very nice carrying pouch but it is nice that they that hi-fi man provided these this carrying pouch uh with the headphones themselves so in the packaging you're going to get the headphones themselves right here and then you're going to get the cable right here so let's toss that off to the side and first we're going to push the headphones off to the side for now and then we're going to take a look at the cable so uh, you have these two inputs that go into the cups of the headphones themselves one's the left and one's the right and then you just screw those on nothing too special there and then you also have the 1 4th millimeter adapter uh, that adapts the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. These headphones are efficient enough to be powered by iPods, um, iPads, your computer. And you don't really need a headphone amp. However, if you do want to get the best sound out of these headphones, I would recommend getting a desktop headphone amp. Um, these headphones aren't also really very portable due to the very long cable. However, if you want to take these on the go, which I personally don't really recommend doing, um, you can order a shorter cable, shorter cable online, um, probably at a cost, uh, not that, not too expensive to you. So this is the cable itself. It's very long. And personally, uh, I just use these for home use, um, because of the cable length and the fact that these are open back headphones. So let's transition on to the headphones themselves. So these are the headphones themselves. They have this very nice blue tint around them. Um, made out of plastic um, and these are mostly plastic headphones ex with the exception of this aluminum uh, adjuster here and then the pad around the top and the ear pads so uh, the ear the pad around the top here uh, has a lot of comfort on it which I really enjoy these are very comfortable headphones to wear they're very light on the ears and um, you're not going to have any discomfort wearing these for a long period of time. However, one problem that I did have with the comfort, I guess, is that uh, your ears do get kind of sweaty uh, from uh, wearing these for a long period of time. So you just need to let your ears breathe for like a minute or so, uh, and, and then you're good to go for another couple of hours. Now, you get these uh, very soft ear pads right here. I really enjoy these, and these are a step up from the ear pads they get on the HE300s. Um, and I really enjoy these. They're very comfortable. They make a very good seal, and they really improve the sound quality of the headphones themselves. Now, I said earlier that these are open back headphones, which means that uh, there is not really any noise isolation at all. You're going to get all the sound that's coming from the outside into the headphones, and that creates a really big sound stage and a really natural sound. It makes you feel like you're at a concert or hearing the band live or hearing music live, and it really creates a nice sound atmosphere and just really improves the sound quality of the headphones. So these are not really headphones that you want to take on the go because they are going to leak a really big amount of sound, um, and everybody around you can hear uh, these the sound of the music that you're listening to these are basically speakers from the outside too uh, with the exception of the bass because you have to put these on to really feel the bass of these headphones but otherwise uh, the sound is very good on these headphones and guys i really really enjoy listening to the sound of these headphones it has a very american sound and hi-fi hi-fi man has really branded these headphones as an american headphone uh, american pop music rap hip-hop they all sound really fantastic the highs and mids are really really good uh, the bass is there it's very prominent but it's not going to overpower um, and i would say that these are um, pretty flat headphones in general um, what I mean by flat is that the bass response, the, the, the high response, and the treble response is flat across the board. Uh, you're not going to get more bass. These actually aren't very bass heavy headphones, so if you're a bass head uh, or you're looking for headphones with a lot of bass, I probably would not recommend these headphones to you because these do provide bass, but they're not going to provide a whole lot of bass. The highs and the mids are really where uh, these headphones really shine. I think that sound quality is just really, really top-notch on these headphones. They're definitely worth a $400 price tag and the upgrade over the HE300s in my mind. I, I just really enjoy listening to these headphones overall, guys, and I think these are a great pickup. And I don't think there's there's barely any there's barely any cons with these headphones as well. Um, they're very comfortable to wear. Um, 
and I just really enjoy listening to these headphones. They provide a really, really good sound, and I just really enjoy listening to these headphones overall. And I think these are a great pickup. If you're looking for a pair of audiophile headphones, I would definitely start out uh, with the Hi-Fi Mini G400s. These are just a great pickup, a great pair of headphones, and I really hi highly recommend that you go pick these up um, and make sure to go over to Hi-Fi Man's website to check out all the other stuff they have, they have there. They have a bunch of great stuff, and I really love all of Hi-Fi Man's products. So that's been my review of the Hi-Fi Man HE400. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe with any questions that you have. And make sure to hit up the Facebook and Twitter links down in the description below. Make sure to head over to buymeaniphone.com for all your reviews. That's all for you guys today. My name is June, and I'll see you guys in the next one.